friends hello I'm wearing my hat today because I've been working out in the garden in my flowers and I thought for science this week we would look at and explore some about black holes because Lucas is really into that right now so let's take a look and see what I found online this says this illustration shows light and other space objects being pulled toward a black hole this illustration reveals the power of a black hole's, hole's pull on nearby stars and other celestial matter. Look at that. Look at how strong it is. Superheated gas swirls around our galaxy's central black hole, Sagittarius A. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful picture? And all of this is in space. An illustration shows a black hole at the center of a nebula or a glowing interstellar cloud of gas and dust. Okay, it says at the center of most galaxies is one of the strangest and deadliest things in the universe, a black hole. Most black holes, regardless of their size, are brown when a giant star runs out of energy are born, sorry, when a giant star runs out of energy. So when you have a star in the sky and it runs out of energy, that's what it turns into. The star implodes and its center collapses under its own weight. This causes an explosion called a supernova. The giant star is eventually squashed into a super small dot you can't see. A black hole's gravity, or its force, is so strong that it pulls in anything that gets too close. It can even swallow entire stars. Nothing can move fast enough to escape a black hole's gravity. This includes light, the fastest thing in the universe. That's why we can't see black holes in space. They've gobbled up all the light. Though astronomers can't see black holes, they know that they're there by the effect they have on objects that get too close. Two types of black holes. You have supermassive black holes. They're the largest type. They're up to one million times more massive than our sun. Oh my word, that's gigantic. This is a kind of black hole that's at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. It is called Sagittar Sagittarius A, or in science code, A star. The most common type of black hole, stellar black holes, are only up to 20 times more massive than our sun. Only 20 instead of a million, right? The intense gravity near a black hole makes time behave in strange ways. If an astronaut left his spacecraft to explore a black hole up close, he'd see the hands of his watch ticking at normal speed. But if anyone back on the spacecraft could observe the watch from far away, they'd see its hands slow down as the spacewalker got closer to the black hole. When the spacewalker returned to the spaceship after an hour-long spacewalk, years would have passed for those above the spacecraft. That's crazy. Someday humans might be able to use black holes to time travel forward. An astronaut could take a short trip near a black hole and return to Earth after years, decades, or even centuries had passed there. Ooh, that sounds like a good movie, huh? A black hole time machine could allow an astronaut to find out what the world would be like in the future. But going back in time, that's a different challenge altogether. Did you know thousands of potential black holes have been discovered, but NASA thinks there could be more than a billion of them in space? Black holes don't live forever. They slowly evaporate over time, returning their energy to the universe. Huh, I did not know that. In 2015, two black holes crashed into each other more than a billion light years from Earth. A light year is the distance light travels in one year. They weren't destroyed though, they just merged to create one big black hole. 
Okay, that's interesting. And I got this off of a website. It's kids.nationalgeographic.com. Okay, that was really super interesting. It's super kind of like over my head, but I'm going to attach a little worksheet that we um, will read together and then we'll talk about it. So click on the next part. Thanks for listening. That's interesting about black holes.